फेयर को रिलेटेड में सोशल मीडिया में अपन देरी चार साथियों जो बड़ा था वही रहा उनसे यहाँ से स्टॉल आ रहा हूँ उनसे रहा डिफरेंट कंट्री अलग रिप्रेजेंटेटिव कर रहा हूँ उनसे वाणी के लिए था वही रहा इनफॉरमेशन लीन लाइज है आई से पैसे लोग कंप्लीट करेगा रहा यूरोप को लाइक ट्राई करता है कि कॉस्ट उनसे ना बुझने लाये ऐसे हैं यूथ अमाउंट ऑफ स that should lead Nepal to a knowledge-based and prosperous economy. As policymakers, academics, parents, and concerned civil society, we have a special role to play. Our guidance, continuous support, and encouragement to take advantage of numerous possibilities are very crucial elements to ensure that the Nepali youth reach their full potential in education. I have met many of them who have been actively contributing to the development of technology, agriculture, engineering, and infrastructure here in Nepal. The application to finish universities and submitting your application is always free. You don't have to pay to apply for Finland to study. You can do it yourself and you can easily follow the guides and, and guidelines that are provided in the Studying in Finland website. If you get admitted uh, to the Finnish university, you have to be able to show for the immigration services that you can support your, your living expenses uh, in Finland. So in addition uh, to the fee that you need to pay, you need to show that you have uh, enough money to support yourself while you are studying in, in Finland. I'm Onsha Dikari. I'm the alumni of Central European University and today I'm representing Central European University in Budapest, Hungary. Uh, it's quite easy for us because it's, uh, first of all it's cheap like Nepal and second is the university itself is in English so you don't have to learn the language and most of the Nepalese they know English language so it's easy for them to understand and read and, uh, and study in the university. And third, as a country and as Budapest is a very touristic place and, and it's very interesting and fun to live there. Everything is online, so what you do is like you go in this study, uh, find Holland, and then uh, you find your topic where you want to study, which topic you want to study, and what type of course you want to do, short courses, master's courses, post diploma courses, so there are a variety of courses you can study. So first you select the topic, then you select the university and then go into the website of the university just to get your admission letter. So after you get the admission letter, the university will directly direct you towards different types of scholarships that you can get. France is not dependent on an English. But the many, now the multinationals and the international uh, programs, so faculty members, they speak perfectly English, they can, but when you go outside, if you want to enjoy the French environment, French life, it's better to have the French language capacity. And that's allow you to, when you finish your, your uh, program or your, your studies, then you can be a bilingual uh, expert in any field that you have chosen. For scholarships, we have one of the most prestigious achieving scholarships uh, for, for which a master's aspirant can apply for, for which you needed two years valid work experience. So that is one of the most prestigious scholarships. Apart from that, every individual university that a student applies to, be it UG or PG or doctoral, all of these universities will have a specific scholarship for Nepalese student that the student will have to ask the particular university in terms of scholarships. Germany as a country has a system of education which is state subsidized. 
many people say education in Germany is free. So nothing in this world is free. You don't pay for that education. That world-class education still does cost. It's that the cost for this education is borne not by you directly, but it is covered for and paid for by the German state. Because running a university means having staff, means having infrastructure, having consumables, having whatever you need to run an institution. But you're lucky because you don't pay for that. Most universities in Germany are public universities, they're state-funded universities, and these are the universities where you'll not have to pay tuition fees. There are also some very good private universities giving specialized programs for which you may have to pay tuition fees. University Mate Erasmus Kobari Tata Boyroxa scholarship or Galagi, I'm Sopizana Tabus Nopani Haskari as I got you. Molatha Boy on the Sarse Erasmus scholarship or Nepal student of a scholarship provide or Gornigorikosa on Erasmus Kutubot, Europe, do it in the country Mabosera, lay master's program or Tiaboy, co program or Modesia, apply on a soxo, and a scholarship ma for a soxo. I am a Mediterranean Forestry and Natural Resources Management program. I am a master's degree program, double degree. I am a master's degree in Portugal, University of Lisbon. I am a master's degree in Italy, University of Padua. I am a master's degree in Portugal, University of Padua. I am a master's degree in Portugal. So mobility is completely necessary. The purpose behind mobility is you will get better chance to travel around the Europe fast. Within the Europe, there is very high cultural diversity, food, language, uh, like uh, many things there is a completely different. So what the scholarship is uh, uh, boosting is let's give the opportunity to travel as much as possible. I just I just have a out on the I the future this is a green commission found over Lagi, Ottawa, Kuni Confusion Savan, just the Yaman, was a country authorized man here at Boston Sunday. I come directly with my son, Kura, the history of convenience level, the stove, one day type one. Consultancy of the dearest in Nepal, one year one, because of Akno Swasavalagi just to type of Lake Gorson. A young authorized man here, Kura Gorsegus, Unilesi, Jeff Hexa, and a Jikurusa, Unilesi, or for the fastest type of Gordini, or two and such of each student, Kigonikosu, and a decision in a social.